All right, well, it's turning the compost pile the first time. But I'm turning it by hand, and it's dry, into the next bin. And what I'm doing is I am putting a couple layers down, and then I'm adding some water to it. And then I'll put some more layers. So basically, I'm trying to get it wet, keep it active. Um, I haven't built a roof for it yet. I gotta go get some tin and probably some two by fours or two by twos and build some tin, um, roof over it, get it ready for the winter. Uh, but we're turning it now. The next step is that's the old pile. That pile will go on in the fall to the garden. Once the garden gets done in November, December, that pile will disappear and we'll continue to build out another one so my goal was either to have three or four if i had four that's every three months i'm turning this pile so four quarters to a year and then when it would hit the last pile it's a year old so it's our first time doing it this way um, i like it i can able to keep it cooking a little bit more it was still hot in the middle this morning so we're going to keep adding water and uh, keep adding layers. My hose doesn't reach. I got to go buy some more hose, but for right now, we just do the bucket. Should be more, use, hopefully, use a lot more water, but. This is better than nothing right now. The other thing that I learned, they use too much straw. So I gotta use more wood chips than I do straw. Which is alright. It's a learning process. You'll notice in the pile there's some eggs in here. I had some excess eggs. And plus we compost waste, food waste in the house to try to add some more moisture and other stuff to the pile. Hopefully with this water, straw will keep it wet soak up this moisture I put on it and I'll pop out. Strangers are just stopping by. Working on the pile. Guy pulled up. Want to know what I use for my trellises? I'm telling him we use cattle panels. And uh, he's like, okay. So, hey, it's sort of like a curse and a blessing, I guess, to live on a main secondary road. Sometimes you feel like you're in a fishbowl, um, but other times it's great because it encourages people to stop and say, hey, what are you doing? What are you all about? And, uh, you know, I get to share some things of what we're doing and meet people in the community. So, sort of like a double-edged sword, but it's been doing pretty good. I'm just looking at the butterflies that are all around here. See all the butterflies? the one over there on the top. 
I'll come down here and I'll see butterflies all around here. So I definitely learned some lessons from this first compartment of, of uh, compost, or the waste, basically. And that is, add more wood chips than straw. That was some of the things with the last piles that we didn't cover. They kept getting wet, and they were just so damp. <clears throat> they were, you know, the time you got to the bottom of one of your, the last year's pile, it was like it didn't do anything because it's just so sopping wet. So I've been trying to keep it covered. If it rains for like a day, I'll take it off and let it rain and put it back on for the other day. It's just fine tuning it, learning as I go. Got the little one up there. He's he's filling buckets, keeping those buckets full, so Paw Paw can just go up there and get some more and bring it back down. Getting the thumbs up. <laughs> Having him help does help speed things along. One thing I did notice is the smell is not as bad as last year because it's not as wet. Um, last year it had a little bit more ammonia smell because of um, all the moisture, how the rain we had that one year. Last year was just killer. And I think it just killed the pile as far as... Well, this pile is doing good because there is, we're turning this yes. and it smells like earth. It yes. smells like soil. There is no... Occasionally I'll get the egg that I popped. <laughs> down here and I'm going to show you what's going on in this compost pile. You see all the life all breaking down. There's a lot of pig bugs in there. Pill bugs. Some people call them pig bugs. Some people call them uh, roly polies. That's what I grew up calling them. There's all kinds of larvae. There's um, black soldier flies in here if I can find some saw some flying here a minute ago but this is what you want to see in your compost this is what's turning this waste into good usable soil I don't know if y'all noticed let me see that sign on the side of that that label See where they came from? Let me give y'all a little tip. If you need food grade buckets, like we, we use the food grade buckets for everything from gathered vegetables, hauling this water down here, gut buckets, uh, gut buckets when we're butchering. We use them for water systems on the quail and the rabbits. Um, all you gotta do is go to the bakery at Walmart. Some Walmarts give them away. Most of them, they'll cost you a dollar. For the lid and the bucket. For the lid and the bucket. They may be dirty. Right. Sometimes you get them, they still have icing in them, but I don't care. Farm buckets around the homestead or farm. Hey, for a dollar, why not?
much rain. I think we've been keeping it covered too much. Probably. Well, when it would rain for like a day, I'd come out and run out here and I'd cover it. But it only rain for like 20, 30 minutes and that's it. Yeah, I'd just leave it open, let it pour. Uh, because it's such a large pile. Yeah. And keep the one. keep the beginner pile covered covered until it gets about half full. Yeah. Yeah. At least it's fluffed. We've added some moisture. Um, this is where I add all the food scraps and any extra eggs that I want for moisture. Cause that's why I was putting eggs in here was for the moisture. Why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you compost eggs? I don't know. It's a protein. It's a protein, but it Shell, it's. Calcium? A lot of people say don't put the protein in, Why? but this is our rule. We if it pile. was once living, it goes in the pile. Yeah. Sometimes there's a possum or coon up here at the edge of the road, It'll come big. but they, they'll get hit, and guess where they go? They get scooped up with a shovel, and they get brought down here to the compost pile. Yep. Well, I've composted two possums. Or no, two groundhogs. Two groundhogs, two groundhogs a like possum. That. We put a possum in that we found down here in the yard that had gotten hit. Yep. And they were actually in this pile. And guess what? There's no signs of them. Nope. And I'm pretty sure they did not get up and walk away. No. Every now and then we'll find a bone, a jaw bone, but we're not looking real hard. Usually when we find those, it's after we get the stuff put into the garden bed and when we're planting, we'll hit one. It'll still break down and put calcium in the soil. I think you're ready to get the rest of this over and then just water away. Let it still trickle down. Yeah. Then you go start back here again, right? Yeah. That was, the plan was... I know, here, here. here I think we need four. Yeah, I'm thinking four. Yeah, four quarters to a year, so it's every three months. Turn, 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 turn. Last one. This will be gone this fall. I'll build on again. And it's going to be tight. But I think I can build another one. Yeah. So, we'll see. Um, I just want to be far enough away from the pole barn in case I wanted to do something with it. Well, regulations in this county or what, 25 feet? 25, I went like 30. 30 yeah, you have feet. to be 25 feet from a, an existing structure yeah. for your compost piles. Yeah, so I went 30, 32 feet just to be on the... And of course, that's an old sawdust pile I gotta get rid of. Yeah, that's gonna go. That was my original pile. Um, but, you know, let's see, maybe put the chickens out there. There's a lot. It's, a lot of it depends upon situation, what's going on, you know. Almost got it all. Almost. You've only been out here, what, an hour and a half? Something like that. I mean, well, stopping for people. Yeah, stopping for the people that are just stopping to talk because they see what we have going on. I think you're done, darling. Uh, almost done. Just a little clean up here. Ah, oh, you got to Yeah, you're you're OCD kicking. You got to get it all within the square, don't you? Well, the animals will dig it out. I know. That's another thing. We don't worry about wild animals, wild critters. They can come down here and they can dig in it as much as they want. Because actually, what that's doing is aerating it. They can come in here. There are so many grubs in there. If the possums want to come in to get the eggs. get the eggs and the grubs, that's fine. That's fine. We don't worry about it. Well, this pile is almost done. We just got to dump this bucket in here. Throw some more water on it. And it may rain. So you guys enjoy. And we'll talk at you later. <laughs>